Now, let's come back to my guest in the studio and let's see how they take on, uh, hear their take on these other very important matters that have uh, made the headlines in the course of the week. Now, the, the people who led us to the, the Brazil are back. The minister is back. He and his deputy have already been uh, removed and sent elsewhere. Um, they all came, and when they touched down, they started with apologies to all Ghanaians for their disappointment and to the president for this, letting him down after he had done his best to make sure that you know, we get the best out of it. Kwesi Nyantechi, the FA boss, is also back with an apology. The coach, uh, Kwesi Apia, is also back with an apology. All of them have explanations why things didn't go the way they have uh, gone to our disappointment. The new Minister for Sports has announced that a, a three-man committee to be chaired by Justice Senor uh, Jamefe of the Court of Appeal uh, is going to look into the matters and then we see our way forward. Is that uh, where it should stop? I don't think so because um, the import of putting the committee together is for them to come out with findings and the findings implemented. I particularly like the composition of the, of the three-member team, mm. uh, non-political, um, the members are not known political players, uh, Justice Jem, uh, Senior Jamafe, mm -hmm. a court of appeal judge, you have Moses Fuamoni, a lawyer and a sports administrator at that. Right. Then you have a third person, I don't know him personally, but Kofi Anochi Owusu Danko, I'm told he's an sports enthusiast. That's how he's described. Yes. So these are people who I'm sure would have an independent mind and look at it. Uh, is it necessary to put the committee together? I've heard people say that we all know what the problems are. You don't need a committee. Yeah. I tend to differ. What we all know are bits and pieces that are out there. What we all know is the story that is being told by one person or the other. But we will need to codify all this into a single document so that in future, when we want to lay hands on a document that can help us to move forward, we can easily go to that document. And so if for nothing at all, this committee's work is so important to the extent that all the matters that happened before, during, and after the World Cup will be put in one document, and that can be a document for future reference. If you look at the terms of reference, it tells you that uh, the committee is looking at um, matters uh, before the World Cup. It includes their training tours, what happened before. I'm particularly interested in the, um, uh, the fact that the committee's work is also to look at how the fans were treated, mm -hmm. how they were taken out of this country and made to sleep in places that uh, before then, the Minister of Sport had said that everything was okay, the then Minister of Sport. Mm. So how did it turn out the way it, it turned out? So the committee's work would unravel all these things, and then government, as the minister said, the uh, new minister said, it should be implemented. You, you just mentioned an aspect of how things went bad. For example, how the fans were airlifted and dumped in Brazil, so to speak, as we are told and some of them had no places to sleep or bad conditions to, to endure. But there's, isn't there enough information out there already for someone in authority to be able to make the right decisions as far as this, this issue is concerned? They're told by some of the travel uh, and tour agencies who were giving the job. There were three of them that were selected and giving the job. They were giving the job far in advance in time. Then subsequently, just when were a few days to go, parts of the contracts were yanked off. Uh, you just airlift them, will take care of their board, where they sleep and how they eat. And then the ministry decided to take all that upon itself, decided to take women along to go and cook for them over there. So it, it appears that you can find a place where the problem came from and take the right actions. Yes, you can find a place you, you can see the problem. The why, the why that happened is what this committee will be interested in. 
so as to put in place mechanisms, strategies that would forestall such a happening again. So when you look at, look, we are told that um, Kwarase was not folded in the subsequent matches after the uh, American match. We are hearing from the camp that it was the captain, Asamojan, and uh, John Boy who indicated to the coach that because he cannot speak any local dialect, he's unable to command the back. That was how come, as it were, um, are, we saying, came. are we saying that bringing in Dauda didn't uh, have any would pay off? It is not about that. Yes. You also want to find out what wrong did. Because I thought partly he was our savior. So and that, that, what I'm also asking is that what wrong did Kwarase commit so as mm -hmm. to lead to this change? Okay. So these are all matters that the coach has come to say what he, he has to say, but it is your word against my word. Right. We have very limited time, this. yet we want to traverse all of the matters that we have before us. Uh, Gabi, what do, you, what, do you, what do you say? We should just uh, wait for this committee to start work. <coughs> all those who have complaints and concerns should go there and make their, their concerns be known. And then... Yeah, sometimes I wonder, you know, the, this week or so, I think the minority came out. They asked for a, a, a bipartisan absolutely. committee. And I wonder if government actually, after this, government sat down with them and, you know, Georgia to see how, to see if there's any The sense. new minister says that they don't want it to have anything to do with politics. Um, I, 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 I don't know. And at the end of the day, we'll go back to the politicians to implement it. I mean, it will go back to the minister. To the, the minister is seen as in government, it's not in government. as a politician, really, in the first that's, place. That's basically what it is. Usually, what happens with these committees, parliamentary committees, and established democracies, they bring in the experts as well. Okay? The, to me, you know, it's, um, we are, there appears to be a cross-pollination of non-performance. You know, and... You and are so obsessed with non-performance. So what is the number? Yeah, I'm more obsessed than, than the NDC government. Yes. <laughs> you must be joking. Yes. <laughs> me, <laughs> me, my little, <laughs> sitting in my little right. corner. Now let me, you know, and, and you know, it's, it's, it's cutting across. And, it, and it's, 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 it, to me, that's the issue. In terms of what is happening, whether it's football. No, what's whether, your problem? You're saying that if you were a, par a parliamentary committee, they could invite experts. Why? Yeah. Why? Is there, yeah. is there, is a committee that's been formed? I was basically, stopped from being I, saying, I, I'm saying that, you know, some, you know, at the end of the day, this, sometimes you need to, you need to listen to the, to the other side. Because bottom line, they started the politics by one deputy minister going to say that um, uh, they were sending NDC supporters rather than... You know, so it's, it's important we do that. To me, the, the findings from the, the, uh, any committee that looks into what happened in, 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 in Brazil is not to apportion blame. I'm not interested in that. Because hopefully every four years we're going to a World Cup, you know, but there are lessons from you know, f things that happened uh, this World Cup. We never anticipated it, that now you're even embarrassed to show that you're Ghanaian. World Cups, you all put on our Ghana Cups and the rest of it. You know, but, but there are things in terms of organizing supporters, in terms of how the GFA and players, there are all these things that one has to look at. And we are back, they are back here. Let's look at it generally. There are certain things I don't think you even need a committee that you have to transfer money to, 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 to Brazil. All these things, government should, bottom line, how are we going to approach a uh, future, future, future World, World Cup? I mean, to me, what is more worrying is this cross-pollination of, of, of <laughs> non-performance. Okay. And it's affecting even Kuku, Kuku, and The and last time you were calling for a parliamentary <clears throat> committee, you haven't gotten that. You disappointed? No, no, no. no. I, mm. I made, I said that was an option that I would prefer, but I was open to mm. other prescriptions. I, if I recall, that's exactly what okay. I said. And so this three-man committee, it's mm. been set up. People can still question it. I haven't seen its terms of reference as such. I'm not doubting the integrity of any of those who have been asked to come on board. You know? So, but two main things have happened. You know, the GFA press conference, that threw light on some of the issues. They've given their side of uh, the controversies, mm -hmm. some very convincing, some still with some misty areas that needs to be cleared, you know. 
but then the committee that has been set up. These are the two main things. Uh, with the GFE one, you realize that there was something missing. The involvement or uh, the participation of the Ministry of Youth and Sports. That is where really a lot of the matters are. Mm. So, and they couldn't have dealt with those. They dealt with football specific <coughs> issues. Player agitation for money, player indiscipline, uh, technical hurdles and things they faced, some of the things, some, I think, largely were quite credible explanations in my candid opinion. But the focus is on the ministerial committee. That's where a lot of the problems are. We need to look at the budget. We need to know how much money was spent. We look, look at how the supporters were mobilized, the accommodation there, the internal flight arrangements, how come supporters went watching TV instead of going to the stadium. You know, tickets were bought. All these things were budgeted for. So were they bought? If they were bought, what do we do with the tickets? Because if people didn't go into the stadia to watch, where are the tickets? Did we sell them back to the organizers? We need to check all these things, and these things could be done by a committee of inquiry of some sort. Bottom line, all those things are public accounts, public funds. They are also subject to the Auditor General scrutiny, and I believe eventually will happen. You know, the tradition has been for ministers of sports or the youth and sports, or how we call them, to go to parliament mm. with a full list of expenditure right. and the items that right. were done. 2006 was done in 2008, somewhere February. The 2010 one too was done somewhere in November of that year. So we are expecting that this too will be done. People have raised the issue about the reassignment of uh, a free Ankara. As you know, my position was that he should have gone home to sleep. Mm. But people are creating the impression that that means he's been absorbed of any responsibility in terms of testimony <laughs> before the committees, whether parliamentary or committee of inquiry, it doesn't. No matter what, there's no hiding place, as it were, for him. I'm not saying he's committed <laughs> any crime. I just, uh, you know, uh, so he... It appears a lot is being said that will hang over his neck. Yes, he has to. You have just mentioned the aspects of how many tickets we're giving out, from where have they been accounted for, uh, the questions that have come up from the travel agencies, yes. you know, I had uh, Kempo yes. complaining, I had uh, Africa Travel and Tours also mm. complaining, yes. all of them. Yes. And they are laying the blame squarely at the doorstep of the minister. It is the but, ministry. You know, he has boldly come out to also admit that as the head of the committee, he takes the blame. Okay. Which yeah, means, we are, look, we are talking mean? of spe no, no, specific. No, no, what does that mean? He's talking, he's talking of the said. ultimate okay. responsibility so of Ghana. Agreed. Agreed. He takes the blame. No, no, no. Yeah, please. 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 So what we, is he doing about We it? are not talking about that. He's, <laughs> that was an acceptance, an ultimate responsibility for the failure of Ghana at this World Cup. Yes. We're not talking of specifics where we would be able to, you know, mm -hmm. itemize personal liabilities and burdens of responsibility as to no, how you're saying that he has not run away from the fact that he himself admits investigation. And eventually, I'm saying auditing. You bring accounts. They must submit accounts. Right. The accounts then are audited. Mm. In fact, GFA itself, the, the sponsorship, you see, and the monies that were, uh, were taken from various state institutions as well as private sectors, we need to know the totality, how much monies came to the GFA as well as to, came to uh, the sports ministry. I'm told the GFA was about 2.3 million mm -hmm. from their sponsors. Okay. They also submit an account. Right. They copy the ministry, but they submit account, which the Auditor General audits. Okay? But the ministry's one is separate. Indeed, it's the accountants of the ministry who hold the money and who disperse the, the money on such occasions. So all those are subject to scrutiny. Mm. Regardless of what this committee does, that whatever they submit, whatever accounts they submit, it still must still go Coco, to the I don't know what you, I don't know what you know, but there are those who are already, you know, raising, you know, the alarm that government ought to be careful in this particular process, respect to the GFA and its operations. Yes. Because we know in Nigeria already, yeah. the FA is coming down on Nigeria yeah. for having interfered. Yeah. We are aware that the FIFA's, uh, you know, constitution, statutes, yeah. yeah, the statutes, <coughs> per, they are Article 13 and Article 17. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not supposed to, the, G, the GFA, the FAs are supposed to operate independently and are not, there's not supposed to be a third party interference. Yes, but that's why I think the focus or the emphasis on, of this committee should be related to those that concern the Ministry of Youth and Sports. There are a few areas, in terms of football specific, 
technical issues. They are not really for a committee of inquiry. Mm. Okay, we, we have a football federation. We even have coaches who are very experienced. We can look into all those matters. Okay. okay. What is important, what I thought also came out was this point about putting the players on contract subsequently. Right. Relative to what they, but they are going to transform their code of conduct into a contract. I think that's a significant thing. In front of them. Randy has been raising this matter way back mm. about the need to do something different. But should they, not, should they not first take sanctions for their failure to ensure discipline in the first place in this one? Oh, oh the GFA, sir, if you listen to the boss, the president of GFA, it was clear that their previous, you know, tolerance, if you like, the over player you know, discipline yes. is what has grown to this stage. <clears throat> they admitted that. 2010, the things that Sully did and the whole president was the one who was pleading with the coach not to cure the mischief. And that's a, an admission that the president own... GFA, right. Yeah, he's the yeah, president I'm of GFA. He admitted. So Before clearly, he, he this time around, I think they were trying to, you know, knock sense into uh, <laughs> a player boxer, the player who decided to turn himself into a boxer. You know, it's, it's, it's just not right. Then, of course, the money, the way we take money out of this country, 2010 it was done, 2014 it was done. Okay? 2006 it was done. No, it wasn't. It was was done. No, no, it wasn't. The 2006. GFA, the explanation. No, wait. The 2006. The GFA money said was transferred. it was done. It no. was done. Yes. But he has again, I have asked him, and he has again explained yeah. that it is true that the monies were transferred there. It was into a bank, an account, but they took it out cash yes. and paid to them yes. in cash. So that's different. It was not transfer. It was not you know yes. taking so on a flight. Physical cash yeah. was not mm -hmm. airlifted. Right. If you want precision, that's the second explanation. He came back. But it's a fact. Yes. It's yes. documented. That's, that's, that's the second explanation. The yes. accounts was mm -hmm. opened after uh, Papa Uso and Kuma. Yes. Drew Actually, his it was a slip that. of memory. Mm -hmm. I mean, just put it that way. But his, the cure has been provided. But whatever it is. It was wrong. There are those who say here in Kusiapia, all of them, they are failed. They should just get out of the way. Yeah, that, that's the other point about the retention of the coach also came up at the GFA. But that's a technical matter. That's within the purview of the GFA. Okay. A committee of inquiry cannot deal with that that's issue. That's correct. You have no remedy there. Right. Yeah. Dr. Kweta, I don't know how you look well, at it. Well, I think that um, we should not limit ourselves only in looking at what went wrong. Mm. We should also be able to look into the future. Fundamentally, uh, the player's behavior, and, and I don't really understand this whole thing about GFA and FIFA. GFA worked closely with the ministry mm -hmm. in organizing this, this uh, 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 trip. Yeah, they take money from and, the state. And, and therefore, if ministers are resigning and fingers are being pointed at uh, uh, the ministry, I think GFA should also look at itself, and because I don't see how they can be totally absolved from this. And FIFA cannot be, you know, that which uh, gives them an immunity from, from, from the state, from right. the nation's interest. I, I, think, I see, I see I that the fact that, to the fact that you are the American ambassador to Ghana, or yes, a more specific course. example, America is a country, not like FIFA, the fact that you are the UN's uh, representative in Ghana, yeah. and you have diplomatic immunity, yeah. does not give you the license to commit murder and get away with it. I, and, I, and I think we have to look at that. That's one. Two, if they are now admitting that... the review of the FIFA statute, or what? No, suggesting that, Suspensive. some are saying that they are threats, saying that, if you see, because of FIFA's rules, Let's not touch the GFA. Yeah. Because and if we, we did, you know, all of our we've known public monies they get right. are subject to auditing. Correct. That has nothing to do with FIFA. Correct. Yeah. So, but technical things, if so, they appoint so a coach. I, I think, I think uh, some responsibility. Do do we mm. should also understand how they behave mm. and how they work with the ministry and how they themselves handle things. Admitting that, oh, we've been too lenient and so on. The, the consequences have been very costly sure. to, to the nation. And I think what I find to be rather baffling is that we always want to learn but we don't apply, apply the lessons and nobody takes responsibility for anything and I think within GFA there has to somebody must take responsibility for the mess so to explain that oh is the ministry is the ministry I don't buy that I think all of them there's a fine both line sides, of extension for player both discipline sides. player agitation maybe accommodation of of player, those areas, yes, you can deal okay, with GFA. Right. Well, but we are talking of if you airlifted three million dollars. The airlifting, yes, that's why I said you should, look, you should. What are our policies? You know, 
You can't travel, take more than 10,000 out of the country. Right. It's government policy. Mm. And then we saw the Forex, you know, uh, regulations. Well, but government that decided happened. itself to ignore that. So should yeah. government, yeah, but the point is that should government disobey its own laws at will? No. But okay. while, so, whilst we are looking at that, so, so it's important. Looking at that, what do you say to the players? Well, I'm coming to that's why I said we should look into the future. I don't understand this thing about uh, players, contracts, money, patriotism. The nation is swept. So much goes into this, and they are representing Ghana. And yet, it's turned out that what drives them mostly is money. Sure. And what about the soldiers who go onto the battlefront? Mm -hmm. And what about many politicians? I mean, many people do things sacrificially. Right? Algerian okay. players gave their money away. Yes, and, and then the, the Greeks and so on to mm -hmm. Greece. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, many of these players... Sometimes they fight over the uh, whiskey. <laughs> well, well, yes. it's true, but they are poorer than uh, <laughs> of course, players I agree. and so on. I, I, I mean, mean couldn't they... We have had one player <laughs> single-handedly sponsor his country's team. And That's a big deal. So, you so may have is, political in, in, So what is this you know, big? I mean, what, what is it about these players that, you know, practically a nation was held, held hostage, okay, and three million had to be flown to save a situation. I would have liked to see a situation where we defied whatever. If you wouldn't Agreed. go on the field, don't mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. But they should understand that they can be punished for that. Mm -hmm. Because, because you were there representing the nation. Yes, there. it's you know, treason comes in many ways. Mm. So what education goes into this? And I think we are pondering too much to the demands for money. What, what, what we understand and is And we this, are committing all sorts of humiliation. That the FA officials had been negotiating with them long ahead of time, uh, $82,000. Yeah. $82,000. And yes. they were not agreeing. I, I don't want so to that communication was also sent, was also sent to, to, to government. That I they are not agreeing. And what they are asking for is 100 You know, I'm so, not... Yeah. So, as has been done in previous times, carry that money with you and pay them. So a, pa a, a bigger part of the is, game ought to be taken also by whoever was the company was supposed no, to be responsible but, but for that. I'm looking at the players. Do they understand? I mean, they earn so much, many Second of them. Price, yeah. They didn't even need the money given to them in the yes, first and place. And their clubs don't pay and, them in and, cash. And, 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 and they are not paid in cash. So why do they demand? And why do we break the policies and, and the like laws their colleagues to abroad, satisfy them? Who are involved yeah, in all in sorts of social activities? They are not really. So, so I think <laughs> that we have to look at policies here, right? Okay, mm -hmm. and and define, redefine the policies, okay. and so on. I agree. And and it, we shouldn't we shouldn't pander to players and the discipline. The nation has been embarrassed, right? Thoroughly beyond repair. Ridiculed. I mean, to see on CNN and Sky and so on. Hollywood is going to do a movie it. about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So so yes. what I am looking at what changes. Mm. the situation right that we would have players who understand that they are playing this match for the nation of which they are part of they must love and be pre ready to die for mm. that money is not central we should learn from others I would really like to know why Algeria gave the money away okay. and others those are the things we should also learn right the good the best we, practice we, we have and inform what we do we're here. very